It's raining, it's pouring, but I don't hear an old man snoring. Maybe he's dead. Do you like cherries? Not the ones that Pac-Man eats. These ones. You know what these are? Really? Good stuff. But not as good as new stuff. Hello and welcome to new stuff. Being human, you've probably seen a vending machine. But there's a new type of vending machine selling an odd product in Japan. It sells canned bread. Now, I'm sure it's still very tasty bread, but I really don't understand it. If any of you have an idea of why they would can bread and put it in a vending machine, if you do know, comment below, because I think it's something we all need to know. The Japanese have also created a marvellous brand new toy. You or your children may be playing with a toy dog, but how realistic is that toy dog? First there was baby dolls, then they started crying. Well, there were toy dogs, but now there's toy dogs that pee. Once you wind the dog up, it walks around, then randomly cocks its leg and pees. It keeps doing this process of walking and peeing until it's finished the sort of turning uppy thing you've done at the start. My advice to anyone who has one of these, don't wind it up in the first place, because otherwise it's going to be pee annoying. You can pre-order these dogs for around £30 or about 35 American dollars. Enjoy. And lastly, government officials got a bit more than they asked for in China. One farmer was going to be evicted, but he didn't like the idea very much. He didn't like the idea so much, he turned his house into a fortress, and even fitted a cannon, which he then used to scare off the government officials. While hostile evictions aren't sort of rare in China, with one elderly woman actually being buried alive by a property developer, by accident, the farmer claimed it was just because his whole life depends on the farming, so why shouldn't he use a cannon? Strangely enough, they left him alone after the cannon incident, and, uh, well, he hasn't seen him since. So, if you're going to be evicted and you have a cannon just laying around, you might have found your answer. Now on with the vlog. If sticks and stones may break my bones, don't throw them at me, or I may have to shoot you. Aw oh man, the water's coming up again. That's better. Shizzling nizzle may give you brain dizzle. So, it's some bad fizzle. Now for the time of the week where you learn a brand new word that isn't actually real. Lollipopion, which was posted by 369Dan369G, 369 is actually a French word. Damn you French people! Anyway, Lollipopion, or Lollipopion, is a French word, and, well, it means when a lollipop has grown to such a massive size, it can actually start talking. When it starts talking, it says, Popion, which is really what it's trying to say, pop me on. Scientists really only understand one meaning for it because the lollipop is thinking it's a piece of clothing and telling the person to pop me on, like a coat. But it doesn't realise it's actually a lollipop and not a piece of clothing. This is the only explanation for pop me on, unless you're being rude. So, lollipoppy on. It's a lolly that's so big it thinks it's a piece of clothing. Thank you for that, and please comment a word of the week for next time. I've been ESO1A, thanks for watching, and I leave you with news. Protesters decide the direct approach is best. And that new advertisement might actually sometimes be a trap. Peace.